G'day, Damien Bosby from Proactive IT Solutions here with another video. Did you know that two decades ago it was predicted that we'd all be working in paperless offices now? Now I don't know about you, but I certainly see a lot of paperwork out there in businesses when I'm out visiting clients. And the reality is that only a small fraction of businesses are fully paperless. Here at Proactive we've been paperless for quite some time and we're certainly enjoying the benefits of that. Going paperless does mean you'll need to review your systems and invest in some new technology. However, if you're like us and you're using Office 365, you already get access to a great document management system called SharePoint. SharePoint's been around for a while now, but getting it with Office 365 means you don't have to worry about paying to get it set up and it's already included in your license. So your ongoing costs effectively are zero. There is some cost to getting it set up and the key with SharePoint is to get it set up properly so that it works for you. Going paperless only works if it's easy and by setting SharePoint up properly you do make it easy to use. As an example I can show you how to upload a file to SharePoint. There's multiple ways to do it however the three main ways would be you can scan it in and have the system automatically upload it. You can have a drag and drop type thing where we drop a file in like that to upload it or if you're working from a Word or Excel or some Office document, you can save directly from there as you would a file. You can see here we've got our sites, which is what the SharePoint part is called, into Proactive IT Solutions, and then you get a listing of all the areas that you can go to. For example, I'll go into Pitts Documents, and then we can save into our company data. The other great thing with SharePoint is you can use metadata to manage your files. Now, metadata is essentially just additional data that's assigned to that file. And it can make searching and putting workflows together for files a lot easier. And it means that managing your data becomes very, very easy. To give you an example of some metadata, if we go back to the test PDF that I uploaded earlier, here's the properties of that file. And you can see I've got name, title, client, content, department, ticket number, and supplier. Now, you don't have to use every one of those fields when you are uploading documents, only the ones that are going to be important to managing that file. So, for example, with our invoicing system, we can attach a supplier. So, we can type in our supplier, say DICA data, and then we can attach to that file uh, the DICA data supplier. We've got quite a few suppliers, as you can see. Well, let's just choose Bagworld or ABG, for example. That file then is going to be tagged with that particular piece of metadata. So if we were to do a search for DICA data or AVG, we would find all of our files that had that piece of metadata. We also use metadata quite extensively with the ticket numbering. We can actually go back to a file that was uploaded to SharePoint and do a search for a particular ticket number which will show us all the invoices that we use to provide hardware for that job which can make it very easy if you're wanting to lodge a warranty claim and you need to find the original copy of the invoice. Prior to SharePoint, we had to do that manually, which in some cases where we've got hundreds of invoices from suppliers can take some time to search for that file. So, as you can see, using SharePoint is quite simple and easy, and if set up properly, it will make your business a lot more efficient. If you've been thinking about going paperless, but have been unsure what to do, Now's a good time to contact us and we can help you work through that. Or if you have any other questions with Going Paperless, feel free to drop us a line. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Damien Battersby from Proactive IT Solutions.